Uh, so welcome to, the, to tonight's consultant meeting. Um, our topic for tonight is a discussion about your personal experiences, testimonials, um, so that we can do some recording and be able to have this um, audio footage available for you for using uh, for social media. And also we can transcribe this into writing for you. Um, and then you'd be able to email it out to potential um, contacts. And then secondly, Dr. Mao will be joining us shortly, and we'll have a discussion about um, the mission of Infinity as well as the five health philosophy. So he um, is going to be in transit. We'll probably only have about 15, 20 minutes with him. Um, but uh, we will certainly take advantage of the time that we can while we have him. Um, I'm going to keep us open right now, unmuted, but when Dr. Mao comes on, I will be muting, and then uh, any questions can be asked to him at the end, and I'll let him know that we're saving questions to the end, so to reserve a few minutes if he has time. Um, I believe I just saw notes who is going to be calling in to join us in a minute, and then for our others that weren't able to make it tonight, of course, they'll be watching through YouTube. So, with that, let's get started. Um, what I would love to do, as I said, is use this initial period while we're waiting for Dr. Mao to come on um, to discuss about your personal experiences using the herbs or using aromatherapy, your choice, what you would like to talk about. Um, so perhaps, Amira, may we start with you? Would that be all right? I don't, I don't have anything prepared. I'm no. sorry. That's all right. That's okay. We'll listen in and maybe it will we'll kind of jiggle a thought to you that if you want to participate later, you're welcome to. Does that sound good? Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Renan, so. may we start with you then? Sure. I'm, um, I'm, still, I'm still taking off my, my outdoor shoes and my coat from arriving late, but um, the herbs for me, have been the, so I'm also taking a medicinal herbs uh, from Mao, and I'm taking the vitamins that the eye doctors subscribe, and nothing really brought it all together until I restarted on the five elements and the special earth, which is my element uh, herbs. It just brought it together, smoothed it out, and made all of it in synchronicity, and that's, that's the, the most wonderful thing I can say, that everything seems to be in balance or trying to be in balance, it's a very, very good feeling and very wonderful feeling. That is due to my getting back on the infinity herbs with the addition to doubt. Thank you. Thank you, Renan. Renan, may you also share with us just a little bit more about, because you've been um, using the products of, of Dr. Mouse for quite a long time, can you share with us what you, um, I know in the immediate what you experienced, but also what you just kind of experienced over the years when you think about how your life has transformed? Yes, yes. When I started them years and years ago, they were in tablets. They were uh, like uh, pills. Mm -hmm. They were powdered. Then uh, infinity then was the five element and a tradition to doubt. And they basically, I had a clinic and and I also did search and rescue tracking and other things. And my life is sometimes physically and mentally quite hectic, trying to make it all blend. And I would sit in the office and chew those tablets like candy because they were the most wonderful thing for strength and keeping my mind calm. <laughs> they were my crutch. And of course, we, the herbs were named different names then. But I also used those the same way. Mm -hmm. They were part of the they became a part of my diet, but I did learn not to offer them to patients. They're a little strong for them to <laughs> that way. But I gave them to them to take with water, not to chew like candy like I did. Right. But no, they were very. They were a very definite source of of physical strength, and they were also very calming for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and did you? So you find that um, you had to change other aspects of your lifestyle while you've been using the herbs, or was that just a, a natural, um, you know? A well, I was already, oh no, I was already working on um, uh, becoming a, a teacher of like, treasures and other things. I, I was already on path was solid in both feet, 
is simply um, an addition to a lifestyle. It didn't change my lifestyle, but it went along with my lifestyle change. It went along with your lifestyle. Okay, thank you. And what would be one piece of advice that when you think about for the other consultants coming on board now, what would be your one piece of advice to them as they're sharing knowledge about our products? Absolutely. I have one. Do not stop taking them. Put them where you take them with you. Put some in your purse. Don't stop the flow. Mm -hmm. Why they, so? They're not permanent. Mm -hmm. Put them into your body and they last. You get them in your body and they're used up. And if you want to have full benefit, you must take you must take them regular. And I still uh, fight with that problem because sometimes you're just too busy to grab them. And so I think that uh, what I've done it works the best is I make sure that I have some with me where I go. So if I have to leave the house without taking them, as soon as I can get to water, I can take them. Marvelous. It does make it. You need that continuity. Mm -hmm. Your body needs that continuity. It's really worth it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much, Renan, for sharing that insight. Much appreciated. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, let me, I'm going to mute Leah and, um, and Renan for a moment, and then I'm going to open up. Uh, Sue, would you like to share your experiences? Hi. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little late. Um, That's all right. I had the computer guy here from, used to be Time Warner. Anyway, um, glad to be here. Um, I guess you're sharing the overall experiences of the herbs? Correct, or? well you can, you can talk about any products that you want. Basically what I'm doing is um, just collecting more information for the other consultants to know what experiences okay. you all are having. And then um, also, uh, you know, if we're able to transcribe some of the testimonial, we'll do that too, so that it's available for you to share with your contacts. Okay, well, for one thing, um, once again, um, I'm not getting sick anymore. <laughs> I, I didn't get sick when I took the Traditions of Dow Herbs, which is the same, same thing in a different formula. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, for years, and now again, once again, I'm just, my energy level, I think, is stable, and it remains constant. It's not up and down as much. So that's a wonderful thing. And I am sleeping better. I have noticed that. Oh, I am sleeping a lot better. Good. Because uh, I had a, you know, I had that lung puncture thing, and I got, got better, but I still was having sleeping problems. So I've noticed that lately, the sleep is much, much better. That's wonderful news because I know that was a concern for you before. Yeah, and I love the fact, though, that you have uh, a new sleep CD yeah. and new sleep capsules. Um, and, you know, th that's just a wonderful thing. I intend to get the CD. I want to listen to it. I bet it's fabulous, and um, I can't wait to hear that. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting lots of positive things about that, uh, the Calm Roll-On. How oh, wonderful. People love, love, love that. Okay. And, um, what can I say? Sue, do you have, can you think off the top of your head of what anyone has pointed out to you? Because that would be another good one to be able to put in a testimonial. It's soothing and it's, um, it is calming and it's soothing and it smells wonderful. And it just, you know, it relieves, you know, like headaches and things. It just, makes makes you feel lighter and makes you feel good so um you know it's, it takes away stress okay yeah. and i got a just tremendous tremendous feedback about the tea just can't get enough about it so i'm telling people go ahead and drink it cold you know you don't have to put a lot of ice in it because a lot of ice in our drinks isn't good for a digestion Correct. But, you know, you could put it in the refrigerator and get it cold if you wanted to. Yes, correct. In the summertime, I do it as a sun tea. I, I'm not huge on ice. I don't drink cold drinks, but I definitely use my ancient treasures and make a sun tea with it and brew it outside and then just drink it when I feel like it. But it's one of those overall drinks. I, I just love the concept of tea with a purpose. Yes. You know, it, it's tea that <laughs> helps to enlighten you. It, it's... And I love the fact of, of explaining that the herbs are uh, from a tradition, and some of them, some of the actual herbs are 
more than 2,500 years old. I mean, what product can you say does that? Mm -hmm. And that, to me, I just, I feel real connected uh, with that philosophy and that I'm not just taking, I'm not just taking a vitamin, I'm not just taking a supplement. I'm taking something very, very, very special. And, uh, and you can tell because of the sustained um, energy and the sustained, um, even my emotions I've noticed have been more sustained. Mm -hmm. So on an emotional level, not just, not just on a physical level. Mm -hmm. So I think it helps mentally as well. And you attribute the, the emotions to the tea or just overall incorporating? I think everything. Yeah, for sure the tea mm -hmm. uh, and definitely the herbs without a doubt, without a doubt, not as much up and down. Um, more stable but the tea has the emotional tranquility in it which is a wonderful wonderful source of herbs that does help to calm the mind yes. so yes correct you know you can't beat that if somebody could do nothing else I would tell you know financially or something I'd say take the tea whatever you do drink this tea it'll change your life thank you you're welcome that is a beautiful testimonial okay um, I'm going to mute you now, Sue, and open it up to Donna to share her experiences. Okay. Um, can you hear me? I can. Hey. I think everyone can. Um, I, uh, <laughs> talking to an audience is always kind of scary. Um, I um, started on the uh, five elements, I think maybe like four months ago. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a very, very mental job. I'm also in school um for subjects i'm not too interested in but hopefully will keep me employed and i'm also just naturally a seriously high strung person for now i can verify this she's probably laughing at me right now <laughs> um so basically i um i have a lot of trouble with anxiety mm -hmm. although i'm able to function through it it's not the, the really bad stuff that you you know hide in the corner and not want to come out but it's bad enough and i've had a tendency of having little I call them little mini panic attacks at work. I can, I'm functioning fine, but you know, I'm jittery and I just feel like, you know, somebody, if somebody touches me, I'm going to go through a wall, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Since starting on the herbs, I'm still, you know, it's all still there, but it is um, definitely better, mm -hmm. especially after I started um, the water specific herbs. That helped a lot. That I could actually, the other, I was, I was telling myself is doing good things for me. And I'm sure it's, you know, but I couldn't really notice it so much. As soon as I started putting in the water in there on top of it, it was like a couple of days later, it was like, okay, I can think. This is great. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> I am, I'm not too scared to go out of my door because something's going to attack me. This is wonderful. And on top of that, I was able to sleep a lot better. Still have trouble, but it's not as bad as it was. Mm -hmm. um, I'm able to focus on my schoolwork a lot better. Mm -hmm. I'm able to focus at work. I still have my little panic attacks, but they're not as bad. Um, I too, it's helping my energy a lot because high strung people tend to run through, it's, it's all nervous energy and, they, and we all end up usually exhausted by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, I have more, my energy is better. Mm -hmm. I'm actually able to do stuff in the evening rather than coming home and collapsing and having to flog mm -hmm. myself into going and <laughs> taking care of my chores. Um, mm -hmm. It is... Um, you know, I've got a long ways to go. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying anything else, but it is a wonderful tool, and I strongly recommend it for anyone who might be even considering the possibility of using anxiolytics or um, or antidepressants of any sort, because yeah. I think it would be uh, it was a whole lot healthier, and I think it would actually work a lot better mm -hmm. uh, than you might think it would. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also on the calm herbs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's, it's, again, it's, it's one more tool. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I know there is one. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying the, uh, the sleep herbs when I have a chance, because I can use more sleep. <laughs> we can all use more sleep. <laughs> yes. So it's, um, no, they, these, these things are terrific. I used to take um, traditions of, of Dow herbs also mm -hmm. uh, a long time ago, but I think I still have a partial bottle of the uh, old five element um, tablets. Mm -hmm. somewhere um and i don't remember this kind of a difference on those 
So yeah, you know, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't popping them like candy like Renan did. <laughs> so maybe right. if they did, it would, be, it would be different. But I, I really love these things. Good. I've been telling my friends at work about it. I've been passing out tea to everybody. Um, I do work in Western or conventional medicine mm -hmm. um, in, in health information management. So I'm never sure who's willing to look at anything remotely alternative and who isn't. So I'm just kind of, this tea is terrific. It's, it tastes really good and it just makes you feel good. But it, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't have any caffeine. It doesn't have any sedatives. It just sort of had a calming effect on your nerves. And I've had a couple of people kind of make some noises about how can they get it. So um, it's, uh, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. That's wonderful. And I'm really happy that you're starting to circulate out your tea samples to others. I, I think overall, it's so important that we all remember, start with the people that you know, or areas of your own interest, because that's familiar to you. And it gives you a sense of um, comfort level mm -hmm. for your outreach. And then as you're building your confidence through that, it's so much more easy to then start reaching out beyond that immediate circle to more and more and more um, other points of connection. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, you know, just speaking kind of firsthand, once you started passing out the tea samples, were most people, did they take the tea samples or did mm -hmm. they feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Um, I've had a couple of people, they were surprised because they said it didn't smell that good. You know, usually tea, herbal tea will have a real well no or oh, they have that really nice smell to them because they have the they had the aromatics in there uh, and, and they and it didn't smell all that good but wow that tasted great i mean you really taste the licorice in there then yeah you can you don't have to sweeten it with anything it's terrific right how do you feel hey i felt good after that well you know if you want some more just let me know um, <laughs> and, um so i'm, I'm kind of using that as my um you know my uh, my little um bait to come in and find out more what's all about what is what all this is about so um and we'll see what happens wonderful i have a question for all of you um outside of the people that i know have already come in under um each of you have you been circulating the quiz to others as well too um if anybody wants to share their experiences with the quiz just raise your hand and then i'll unmute you yeah, I don't know how to raise the hand. I don't see anything here that says, says that. Oh, it'll be, um, it is, where's my hands? Where are my hands? Uh, invite participants, share screen, chat, and record. Yeah, hold on one second. There we go. Try now. Now, can everybody share hands? Uh, I see the same thing. Okay. Oh, where, where is it? physically on the screen it'll be over on the bottom in your navigation on the bottom um, no no since i'm here i can i can say that i have um the first lady i gave tea to actually was interested in taking the quiz and came back to tell me she's in water also mm -hmm. um and she is very much into all, she's mainly into essential oils. So I did tell her, oh, hey, I've got essential oils too. I mean, did you take a look at that? Um, and at the moment, she, they're kind of a little bit in a, a financial pit because her husband just got laid off. But okay. I have a feeling that she might be intrigued in trying some of the herbs after he gets himself resettled. So um, I just keep giving her tea to remind her. <laughs> we, will, we, will re we will revisit this conversation again. Exactly. Well, that's nice though. Good. Sorry, as I'm talking with you, I'm also looking to see if I can figure out what happened to her hands. I'm going to unmute Sue because I know she found it really easily last time. Hold on one moment. Sue? Hi. Hi. Are you able to see on your screen the option to be able to raise your hand? Um, hold on just a second. I don't know if it's a, a setting with tonight's video that it's just not reflecting it or if it's it may be just tonight. I'm making the screen bigger. Uh, I, it was easily seen uh, last time we talked, but it, like the others, I don't see it in here. You don't? Okay, it must have been something with the... But as long as I'm unmuted, <laughs> I have a question. Um, Go for it. Are, are all of the new distributors supposed to get little sample packets of tea to share? Yes, they get a well. They get a box of tea. And yeah, I mean the the little ones with the little explanation of what it is. The card. So um, 
the sample one. Yeah, the cards um, are in the uh, media center in the resource section of the virtual back office. Um, if a person needs to be able to access those cards and print more, Leah has it organized as a template um, that a person can run through a printer, um, basically just run it over to like a Staples or an Office Depot and you buy the card stock and they'll print it out for you nicely. Okay, so you don't put it in the um, kit anymore. Um, well, we always put the box of tea in there and then it was never something where, so I'm going to unmute everybody for a second. Okay. Including Leah, because I know she might want to say something about this. Um, so originally it was only the box of tea. We didn't actually include the little cards on it. Um, those are more so when we have them in stock, when we've made a big supply for ourselves and we have some in stock, we always just start sharing extra. Um, but that's not technically part of the oh, okay. that to be received. I just had several people ask me, so I was wondering. Yeah. Hi, Mel. <laughs> well, hi. Well, hello. Oh, there you are. Oh, I like your background. It looks so glamorous. <laughs> it's our dining room. <laughs> Hmm, looks very nice. Okay, <clears throat> great. So we were just talking, um, we have on today um, Renan, Sue, Amira, and Donna. Um, and then we have others that are absolutely watching this video post, um, post meeting. They just haven't been able to make it like Chris and Parisa and Amy and whatnot. Um, so we'll be loading this for them, but we were using the first half of the meeting for um, our consultants to be able to share some of their testimonials because we want to be able to put that out there. And now that you're on, we're going to transition to talking about Infinity's mission statement, as well as um, the philosophy of the five healths and you know, where you see the direction of the consultants being able to be that bridge to, to um, help spread the word with the products. Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry that it's going to be a little brief today. I got to <clears throat> get on a flight uh, pretty soon. So, uh, well, welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time. I know that your time's precious, so I'm going to make this as brief as possible so that you can get back to discussing, you know, uh, other details that uh, Tiffany has planned for you. Okay. So I, I like to just cover a little bit about the inspiration and mission of why we started Infinite Chi. You see, um, when my father came back in the mid-70s, he was invited by American students eager to learn about the Tao. It, this was a really kind of a new way of life. And, uh, and even though it's, it's been a very old way of life, it's yeah, many thousands of years old, but, um, but at the time in the U.S., it was starting to get, um, uh, you know, American public had started to get a little more exposed. What is this Eastern philosophy that seemed to combine, uh, you know, a little bit of martial arts to meditation uh, and the practice of putting little needles into the body and how it can, you know, really activate the body's healing mechanism and then uh, how drinking this awful tasting tea can uh, cure and heal from all kinds of you know, medical conditions that sometimes have not responded uh, to the conventional therapies. So that was sort of the beginning. And um, so as, as, we, as he began to write and teach and so forth, we find that, wow, you know, people really are benefiting from what we're offering. And more and more people are asking, well, how can I access this if I'm not in L.A., if I'm not close to you and so forth? This is where the idea was born that, okay, <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to, we need to uh, put the wisdom of this tradition into a pill, if there's such a thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I, I think in the everyday vernacular we talk about like hey if we can just bottle that right and then we'd be fine well so we had all these family formulas in our family that have been passed down for thousands of years through many generations and uh in, in a particular collection of formula were the five elements and they were not for curative purposes but rather they were more for 
restoring balance of your element personality. And so this was the beginning of the conversation, like, wow, what we should do, and since our overarching mission and purpose is to facilitate positive change and transformation in people's health and, and, and their lives. And, and so how do we do that? And how do we put it into a, literally a bottle? Well, that's the magic of this is, is that if we are to achieve our mission, which is help to facilitate those changes of the individual and therefore of the greater world, because the world is made up of individuals. And how do we change the world? Well, we have to change the world 1% of the time. And so <clears throat> this is how it all came about, that uh, we put the wisdom of the tradition into a bottle. Mm -hmm. And it sounds corny, but it has changed lives. Because in our first incarnation of this company called Traditions of Tao, we started in 1989, we had many people who have told us how the herbs have changed their lives because it's changed their temperament, changed their personality, changed even their perspective as they learn and deepen their knowledge of this tradition. And so this is really um, important. And what we've been trying to do also is to package this information on how you can do something about your life, how you can impact the health of each aspect of your life. Look at your physical health, which is the foundation, mm -hmm. but your mental health, the health of your mind is just as important, if not more, because everything else will flow from that, mm -hmm. right? The decisions you make, the perspectives you have on any given situation causes you to make decisions that will impact an outcome. And if the outcome is not what you had envisioned, then we got to go back to where perhaps the faulty perspective and perhaps that's where the mind health was lacking. And because your mind was frantic, because you were not peaceful, because you were fearful, because of all the factors. And then looking at relationships, why if we dream of love and intimacy and connection with people and we don't have that in our lives or we are falling short of that where is the block and so really learning about where those issues are and helping using tools that we provide for you uh, be they herbs as well as meditation invocations different practices that have been effectively used for thousands of years this is not a invention that just happened yesterday you know, we we get newfangled stuff all the time we get bombarded every day oh something new something new come along mm -hmm. and then a few years later whoops we're so sorry that something new was not fully tested and that there are all these unintended consequences that were just we didn't know we didn't anticipate it well, i'm here to tell you Everything we offer has been around for thousands of years. It's been time tested, people tested, and, and more importantly, I've tested it. And uh, because, again, I personally benefited from it. And, and many of you know my story. I, I nearly died from a, a, a fall from three stories. And, um, and I'm, I'm a really a living example of the, the power and the magic of, <clears throat> of, of this tradition the herbs and the training and the practices. And so, so when it came time to really looking at, well, we can just provide these products. But no, I, I think what we want to do is we want to make sure that as people are sharing these products and teaching them, they're also getting benefits. So in other words, financial health and work health, it's just as important because we have to live in the world. We have to sustain ourselves. So how do we, bring about prosperity. And when, we have, when we're prosperous, we can help more people, our neighbors, our family, and other and our friends and, and loved ones and so forth. But also the greater world out there needs our help. And so that's why we decided, as much as some people might be turned off by the network marketing system, 
when it's done right, it's powerful. Because it means that if I share something with you and share with someone else, you ought to get the benefit of the success of people you help. And that's really the magic of network marketing. And, and it also means that we have this one-on-one -on -one connection. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, as that one-on-one -on -one connection happens, it ripples out so we can touch more people. And now we develop a group, a family. Really, it's one big family that share a similar mission and purpose, which is really to help people one person at a time, help the world one person at a time so the world can be a better place. And so that's why it's so important that you all participate in team training, goal setting, and follow through. Because you can have a desire to succeed, to get healthy, but you also need support. You need a team support. You need a system that will help you take the next step, take the next step, take the next step. And once you get a hang at it, then it's your responsibility to help another person to do the same. And so as this circle expands and grows, everybody benefits. This is the magic of network marketing. So this is uh, our, our commitment to you, which is that we are here to support you with training programs. We're here to support you with the best transformational products. And we're here to support you as your family. And that's our commitment. And, you know, to anyone who's new and brand new, they don't really understand what this is and so forth. Then the important thing to remember is that there is absolutely no obligation Meaning, if you buy the product, you try for a month and you say, you know what, this is not for me. Refund your money. 100% money back guarantee. Right? And so there's no risk involved here. And, and the only risk is you not taking the step that can change your life for the better. That is the biggest risk. So thank you for the, uh, the, the time. And, uh, and unfortunately, I have to uh, run for my flight, but um, I'll, I'll walk to my flight, not, not run. I, I, I need to just, you know, pace myself. Anyway, so it's good to see all of you, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all in person soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Mao. We appreciate you joining on this. Today. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope that was beneficial to be able to hear his thoughts about this. I unmuted you all. Oh, Sue found her hand. <laughs> I did, and I wanted to share that. Um, if you go in and just click on participants at the bottom of your screen, uh, if you're on video, that is, on the computer, it just mm -hmm. says participants. There's a screen that comes up that shows all the participants, and then it has raise hand, lower hand. Found it. Thank you. Yeah, Amira, can you see it too? Okay, so in that case, um, I'm going to um, mute. Um, but if you raise your hand, I'll unmute you in case you have some thoughts you wanted to share. Yes, Sus. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that you know, the 100% money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. I know you said that before, but I forgot that, you know, that's a really good feature if you're trying to share the herbs and someone's a little reticent about trying something new. Um, that's really a wonderful um, selling feature of, you know, selling, sharing, you know, feature of these herbs because, and I love the part where it says, you know, the only downside is if you don't try them. Correct. You know, that's really a, um, a beautiful way of putting it. So mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. and, and before, yeah, he reinforced the thousands of years. And his story, too, was, um, was very interesting about falling off the building and then uh, recovering through these special, special herbs. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I, what did he 
break about 10 bones or something more more than that yeah it, w it was a lot and he miraculously healed and um yeah through a lot of care from his father he was able to heal um, and it was really life-changing for him too because he didn't have time to mention in this call but um, maybe you recall, Sue, from being part of the workshop, how he shared with us as well that it was during that time that he really um, used that period to go into himself and think about like what he wanted out of life as a profession, but also as personal experiences for himself. Um, and he did a lot of soul searching that time because he was already um, like young teenager, I believe, at that point, like preteen teen. And it made him really think about, you know, what he could give back to others, what he um, saw himself doing in time blocks. He did a lot of studying during that purpose. He'd always looked at his father as being the mentor to everyone, and he didn't feel he could fill those shoes. But this was the beginning chapter for him of really saying, okay, I have a role to serve others. And how am I going to accomplish that? Where do I see my purpose of direction going? And how am I going to evolve as an individual? And he also decided at that time that, you know, beyond the practice, he truly wanted his life to be about service and giving to others and that he was going to seek out programs in other countries. He wanted to develop a global connection for individuals. And um, he started thinking about what those steps would be in his future as he would go into adulthood, how he would branch out to that. And, you know, as many of you may know today, um, he spends much of his free time traveling to, especially third world countries, and working with programs to give them better qualities of life. Um, it's one of his greatest passions, actually. Uh, and now he's starting to have his children be involved in it as much as they choose to. He's very much, as always, about each individual has their own life purpose and nobody should be um, restrained, you know, into, boxed into what a parent would give to their child, but that that's that child's responsibility to seek that out too. So we're about to see this new um, generation under he and Dr. Dow and what their children will experience and branch out to, whether it be with the business or their own personal interests. So it's a really interesting time to be involved in the company. Yeah, I remember him saying that I think he was on uh bedridden for like a year at least yes, yes. at least a year or more yeah it really um does make one tend to either do some soul searching or you know get lost within yourself so i think he chose not to be lost so thank goodness for all of us yes exactly um uh, Leah just let me know that she had a call drop so she's trying to get Renan back on and so that they can both be on um, Amir, did you get to hear um, Mal? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, it, it was just now that this happened. Amira, did you have any thoughts you wanted to contribute? Donna, do you? Sorry, it took me a minute to find my button. Um, well, uh, no, I, I didn't know this story about um, Dr. Mal falling off a building. It shouldn't surprise me. It sounds like he had quite a um, athletic youth. Um, <laughs> a couple of stories he was talking about taking pictures of bears or something and a few other things of that nature. Um, he was but, a rambunctious younger brother at uh, that point. <laughs> yeah, there is that, yeah, okay. Um, but uh, no, I've been wondering um, who among uh, mm -hmm. children might be. Um, Eventually, eventually stepping into Dr. Mao's or Dr. Dow's shoes. That is still yeah. unfolding. Yeah, to carry on the tradition. Um, yes. I realize there's plenty of time because, you know, they'll both be doing their thing for decades, I'm sure. But um, it would just be interesting to see how this unfolds. Mm -hmm. and, what, and what, you know, how, what kind of spin will the next generation put on all this? Correct. Uh, with an evolving world. And, um, Oh, this is this is all pretty damn cool to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, most of them on, on Dr. Mao's family, um, they're all still studying university or high school. 
Um, and then Dr. Dow, they're a little bit older, so they are very active in other ways. Um, but I can tell you all of the children actually do get involved in different aspects. Like we're, we happen to be doing um, something that we're not ready to reveal yet, but with the sleep collection, you know, just continuing to expand it. And we had uh, one of Dr. Mao's daughters testing an apparatus for us. So we, we pulled them in. We're always reeling them in. I've had um, <laughs> Chen be involved in the marketing with us. And Chen is a... Um, He's just a whiz when it comes to computer things. So he's fabulous when we are thinking about, you know, how do we do our advertising, putting it out there and looking at different channels. Um, he's wonderful relying on that. All the kids are just, you all don't get to see it because, um, you know, you're in different locations around the country. But for those of us that are in Los Angeles, you always see them popping in their head at the practice or one of the clinics or another. And then um, whenever there's events, they're involved in coming to those with us. So it truly is a family and then an extended family of all of you and then an extended <laughs> family of our patients and customers and pretty marvelous. Oh, like it. So let's see. Leah, were you able to get Renan on? Yes. yes, we're back on. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Renan, did you have anything that you wanted to contribute? I missed, I missed part of the, what was the last question, because I've been off here for a minute or two, uh, and it's been silent. Just, yeah, we were just talking um, in respect to um, post-Dr. Mao's um, discussion that he was having with all of us. Um, just sharing some feedback on, you know, what we thought of what we had heard him say. Um, and so I was wondering if you had any thoughts on the material that he covered. Um, you're welcome to share. I know you always share so much inspiration with us, but I like calling on you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, let me think for a minute on that. Um, as far as sharing uh, with the world, you said you opened uh, the story of that. I've been using the test to do that, to start to get people involved for the morning to or not. Yes. Just uh, ask him, oh, this is a lot of fun. If you just will look at it, it will give you the, the uh, health elements, and I will be able to advise you further on it. And they get excited, and they do it, and they uh, begin to look at it. And uh, twice I've managed to have well, one person bought herbs, and the other person signed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. if I can, so if if I'm sorry, go ahead. Using the tool that you all provide, just simply for fun, because it's a fish, it's a, a worm on the end of the fishing hook. Okay, that's very good advice. Thank you. What I was uh, going to say, if I may, yeah. um, um, I have a very very dear friend who's basically a, a non blood sister, and Renan knows her very well too. Mm -hmm. And her name is Netta, mm -hmm. and she is extremely iffy about anything that has anything to do with network marketing. Mm -hmm. Basically, just we just don't talk about it because she can get really, you know, reactionary about it. Renan managed to dangle that quiz in front of her nose, and not only did she take the quiz, Renan, she actually bought the herbs, didn't she? Yes, she did. Yeah, she, now, was, she bought her elevator. I didn't have the nerve to even bring this thing up to her. Mm -hmm. And Renan walks right in and says, "Hey, we got this really cool quiz. Want to try it?" And I'm thinking, "You did what?" Yeah. <laughs> it worked. It was great. And so that uh, made me think that, well, maybe, you know, if, if, it, if you can hook in Netta, you can hook in anybody. Trust me. <laughs> there you go. That's marvelous. You know, and that brings up an interesting point that um, we had discussed this in our very first consultant team meeting when we did our, our first muster um, mind meeting. And it, it is this barrier of network marketing. And I believe what's important is exactly what Mal mentioned tonight. And it's something that I talked about in that first meeting is, you know, the reason that we do this is because we have the ability to be able to share these personal stories. We're invested in the products ourselves. And being able to give our testimonial gives credibility to what it is that we're offering. And that's something to embrace, not something to fear. Um, this isn't, you know, the pyramid scheme structure that really doesn't even have an opportunity to exist in the, at least in the um, marketplace of the United States anymore, because now there's measures being put into place to stop that. Um, once again, I do want to mention, you know, most of our markup actually comes um, very low in the sense of what would even be involved in the company. It actually is about the operational costs of the production of the products, 
plus um, the payout that we need to give to all of you as consultants. So that's the focus of where our pricing comes from and how it relates back to the business. Um, but I believe that through word of mouth, it is so wonderful because you're able to give a level of customer care that an individual wouldn't be able to experience if let's say they walked into a vitamin store or they walked into a, um, a Whole Foods even you know, or a Rite Aid, they wouldn't have that same level of customer care because these products would be sitting on a shelf with at least in another hundred other products. And the purpose of the individuals working in the store is to be able to be focused on sales and restocking. So they're not thinking about the time and attention that we're able to give. Um, you know, even for us personally, when we're at the warehouse, if I told you how many calls we get, and I see particularly like Marka and Leah on the phone and we don't get off until that individual wants us to, to end the conversation. And that can last up to, you know, 45 minutes an hour. So it's not like we give five minutes of talk and say, see ya, buy the product, bye. Um, it, it is an investment on our part to educate our customers. It's an investment on our part to educate our patients. Um, Infinity serves as a bridge for those who aren't able to go to our clinics and be able to have appointments with the doctors. The products that we're providing are things that they are able to bring into their daily health regime in a, um, a very easy format and an always evolving format too. As you all see, we started with Element Essentials and now we've layered into that um, the Sleep Collection and we've layered into that the Calm Collection and we have, of course, the Tension. We have Immunity Formula and we'll keep expanding and expanding. But we're doing these expansions based on what we actually have as feedback from all of you. So it's not just a matter of putting out products because we feel like it. We're, at, we're responding. We're listening to the communication of our patients and of our customers and responding to that. And so... I, I feel very proud of that. For me, that's one of my favorite things about our company is the fact that we do truly want to, as Dr. Mao said, transform one life at a time and that we're able to reach out across the country. Um, you know, it, is, it gives us the opportunity that you all can have contacts on the East Coast or in the Midwest or in the South, and you're not restricted by your location. You're only restricted by what amount of time and focus you want to put into your businesses. And that's pretty powerful um, to know that you have that capability to outreach to so many individuals across the United States. So that's my thoughts on it. Um, I see though that we are coming up, we're at seven o'clock now. Um, I do want to ask just one more time if anybody has a thought that they want to share, um, please either raise a hand on the screen or raise a hand in the participant section and I will um, unmute. Yes, Sue, hold on one moment. Okay. Um, along the lines of someone asked about what are Mao and Dao's um, children doing, yes. I remember talking to Dao's son and he not only has an engineering degree, he has a medical degree uh, as a heart surgeon, and he's doing his residency at Cedar sinai and he says he has intention of getting his PhD in, uh, in acupuncture. So I think that the next generation is going to bridge and help bridge Western medicine and Eastern medicine together, which I think will be just phenomenal, you know, in bringing these philosophies together and maybe helping <laughs> Western medicine as well. Uh, but I mean, that's where it's going is we're coming together. So that's what we as distributors should also think of this as is coming, bringing people together, like Mao said. Correct, as a family. Yes, thank right. you so much right. for sharing that too. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody else have thoughts that they want to contribute? No? Okay, well then I think that's a beautiful note to end on. Um, thank you so much for attending tonight. For those of you that are watching the video, I hope that you um, had some valuable um, knowledge that came out of this tonight and good insights for you. Um, and I just thank you all, as always, thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for spending the time with Leah and I, we really appreciate it. 
Um, and we will pick back up again in another two weeks. Our next um, theme is going to be about um, recruitment. So let's talk some more about how we will do our outreach to others. And um, we'll certainly share some tips that we have from our experiences with you all. Um, and I'll also give you some examples of great resources to um, help you with your research if you want to um, take a look at some other people I know in the industry that are doing fantastic or if you want to look at books, videos, CDs, DVDs, we've got it all. So we will share that with you in our next conversation. So thank you, thank you, thank you all and enjoy a wonderful evening, okay? Take care. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.